Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, the topic myself and my fellow EGDA fellow May worked on was equipping leaders for the early years program, Birth to Tree. You may wonder why we chose this topic. So, research has shown that as early as infancy, children emotional development, interaction with people, and their environment influences the development of young children. And this determines the foundation of all children's future behavior, learning, and health. Therefore, we felt it was very essential that center leaders to be equipped so that they can better support their teachers in the guiding principles of the EYDF framework and how it can actually facilitate their practices in the centers. So as we embarked on this, we actually engaged a group of center leaders and we asked them, what's happening at the ground? And they shared with us there were lim limited courses at the sector for those teachers who were working with the early years namely the zero to three. So with this in mind, they felt that a lot of practices at the ground focused more, more on the children's care and needs rather than the children's learning and development. So we decided that one way to tackle this issue would be for centre leaders to be equipped and be able to conduct professional dialogues at their respective centers for their team of educators. Therefore, to facilitate this project, we adopted the three R resources developed by ECDA. The three R resources focused on the EYDF principle, namely developing the child. And it emphasized on the importance of the quality of interaction between the staff and the child, how to interact in a respectful, responsive, and reciprocal manner. So was this resource sufficient? We felt the resource cannot work on its own. The center principles need to have a system. They need to be systematic in the implementation of their resource. So with that, we felt that there should be a, some planning by the center principal so this is the framework we came up with, where they need to reflect, observe, gather feedback, do some journaling to pen down their thoughts, work on a work plan, implement, and do some observation and gather feedback after the resource implementation. So when we said reflect, why did we want our centre leaders to reflect? We felt Many a time, our centre leaders are busy in the day-to-day -day operations of the centre and they do not take time to sit down and reflect on their teachers and the current practices. Mm -hmm. So through the reflection exercise, the, the centre leaders were guided to reflect on their current teachers' competency, what are their current practices, the children they are working with, what are the resources available at centre level, Challenges and limitations. Many a time we are not able to call out all the infant teachers at one go to do trainings. So how do we then address this group of teachers if we want to do sharing at the centre level to uplift the professional development of this pool of teachers? Is it going to be on a Saturday? Are we going to arrange some time out? How to go about it? And homeschool partnership and any other areas they wish to focus on. So this is the journaling where the centre leaders were also invited to actually share their reflection, what goals they would like to achieve, the action plan to achieve the goal. This is a sample of a work plan done by one of the centre leaders where they actually think through the whole process. If I have this resource, how am I going to address or equip my teacher on this topic of the three R's? And how do I go about applying it? And is it just sharing with them good enough? Or after that, I still have to go in and do observation. So for this work plan, was more like they have to do an observation first. Then they have to go and apply, you know, uh, they share the resources with the teachers. Then they go in and do observation again. 
So what I'll do now is I'll actually pass the implementation to my co-presenter, pass the mic to Ms. Wendy Tan to share how she actually implemented the three R resources with a team of teachers. Thank you.